Hey guys, it's Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be going over how to determine if an electron configuration is in its ground state or in its excited state. Ground state just means that the electrons are in the lowest energy level possible and that you have filled, filled in all the lower energy levels before you fill up the higher energy levels, essentially falling off false principle. So for example, I have have a energy level diagram right here and if you had an electron configuration that looks like this that would be considered ground state because you have filled in all the lower levels before you filled the higher levels excited state means that one or more electron was excited or bumped up to a higher level so the lower levels weren't completely filled up before you had you filled in the higher levels so for example if you had a configuration that looks like this, then this would be considered excited state because you can see that the 2s wasn't completely filled before you filled, started filling the 2p. That's just a, just a quick summary of what ground state and excited state is. Let's take a look at some examples in terms of how to determine if how, how to determine if these are in the ground state or excited state. Of course, this requires you to have a basic understanding of how electron configuration works. So if you are having trouble with that, check out the video in my description below where I go over that in detail. But here is just a, a quick summary of, of essentially what you need to know. Here I have the orders of the orbitals from low energy to high energy, so 1s goes first, and 2s and 2p, and etc. And these are the maximum number of electrons in each of the different sublevel. S's can hold 2, p's can hold 6, d's can hold 10, and then f's can hold 14. So as we go through these electron configurations, we just want to make sure that the orders match up and all the lower levels are filled up before we move on to the higher levels. Let's take a look at the first example. We'll start up 1s2, that's filled, 2s2, that's filled. 2p6, that's filled because the p's can hold 6, and then moving on to 3s, 3s2, filled, 3p4, and then 4s2. 3p4 is not filled, because then 3p is filled when there's 6 electrons, so since this is not completely filled, before we moved on to the, to the 4s, this makes it an excited state. Let's take a look at the next sample, 1s2, that's filled, 2s2, that's filled, 2p6, that's filled, and then 3s1. So since all the lower levels are filled before we, we move on to the highest level, this would be called a ground state. And then let's take a look at one last example here. We have the noble gas configuration. So we're starting from neon. We just know that this means that all the electro electrons are filled up up to the orbital of neon, and then starting with 3s, 3s1, and then 3p6. So 3s1 is not filled because we know that the s's is filled when there are two electrons in the s sublevel. So since this is not completely filled before we move on to the next one, that would make this an excited state. And that's how you can easily determine if your electron configuration is in the ground state or excited state. Now, if you have to determine which electron, oh, if you have to determine which neutral element this uh, electron configuration corresponds to, a quick way of doing it is just counting the number of electrons and then counting up the total number of electrons and then matching up the atomic number. So we just add these small numbers together, 2, 2, 6, and 1. So that will give us 11. And if we take a look at a periodic table, that will correspond to sodium. So that's just the ground state of sodium. Here, let's take a look at how how to do the excited state. And that's the same process. Add these small numbers together. 2, 2, 6, 2, 4, 2. So that'll give us 4, 10, 12, 16, and 18. And 18 corresponds to argon. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.